Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. Going back in the Esmecalis Raid Labyrinth. And I'm gonna... This is not the team I'm gonna use this for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going with this setup. And I want to explore other parts of the Labyrinth. I have not gone up there too much I know that there is a path that is very good for the drops I went in a bit like two directions on this side did not go down here or here yet and uh, I'd like to start there's the earth boss this is this is earth boss right here this is the light boss this is the fire boss this is the queen and this is the dark boss so I'm going to head toward the light boss, which I've been hearing is uh, insanity. So let's, uh, let's pay her a visit. That sounds like a lot of fun, aka wipes. So you really want to visit to explore as much as possible in this, uh, this raid. To uh, you just map out the area. You check where each thing is dropped at, and uh, you can just yield and not lose your compasses, your two compasses. Or if you just die, you don't lose them. And you could draw the map. Right? I was, I wanted to draw a map actually. So there's a big corridor, straight line. The middle now let me go down okay it's still fighting here then this goes down yeah so you just draw a map sounds crazy but that's how you get the best rewards every week Especially if you cannot kill any of the bosses, you can just straight up farm these packs. By farming, I mean, I mean, it does cost you two compasses, but if you take the more, the most efficient path to get as many rewards as possible, you can end up with. Oh, I uh, yeah, I messed up my drawing right there. So this is not good. Like this. Okay. Now, let me go down there. I have not encountered any chest yet. I fought normal monsters. I fought elite monsters. Uh, even the elite monsters are quite scary like they can they can burst you down land uh, defense down and follow up with uh, like the other enemies or like maybe the the elite uh, boss just decides to counter and he, he already has defense down on on your hero it can truly hurt Just gonna finish drawing this stuff. All right, this part, fire boss. This is I drew this light boss. I'm gonna have to head uh, in the other direction eventually. down to the boss okay now here mad uh, rack x veteran that one can be well first no effect resistance you can land some poisons on that so far the fire and the dark boss are immune to poison effects 
But the trash packs and the elite monsters could just not be immune to that. Where was I here? Okay. This, this, okay. Good. Now, I can't go north to uh, clear part of the uh, trash packs before the queen quite yet. Kind of ran out of space on my piece of sticky note. Let me uh, draw the queen's area before before encountering her. All right. At least I can auto the trash bags, so it's not too painful. It does take quite a bit of time still. Oh, this Tina down, but it's fine. I just want to kill this guy. Let's just pop the Guardian. Silk was going next. Look at that damage. That's a lot of damage. I just want to see if, if this boss actually drops something. So I can focus uh, on killing him probably first on the run where I want to go for as many for as many strong items as possible so this was definitely not worth it but there's no way around it like I've got to go down there to uh, so I can just push some more let's check out what the next battle is like there's no battle here so if I turn off auto go north I can see that it's not it's not even a battle here I'm, I am losing morale for doing this so here Let's check this location out. Normal monsters. I'll just try and kill them. I believe I might be able to. It's not going to be too hard. These die fairly quickly. I'm also dying fairly quickly. So yeah, so far I fought the fire boss and I fought the dark boss. I believe that the dark boss for me for me is the uh, easier one. I have not attempted the light or earth one. But from what I heard, they are harder. And for me, earth, I'm relying heavily on Tarnar Guard, so that wouldn't work out too well. Let me just keep on pushing here. Oh, this, uh, this is not gonna happen, I believe. Silk's about to die. Tarnar Guard and Diane could solo these, though. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, my barrier on Diane is fully enhanced to uh, plus six, the skill ups, which is very strong. It's as strong as it can be with the skill ups all right no problem dealing with this so what are these boots just great just kind of trash boots nothing interesting this way so far there was that ring so a rare t5 ring could be good but the main stat could be trash it could just be flat something which is definitely not something you want to, uh, not something you would hope for. You cannot have more than one drop. So these boots, I saw that these boots drop. That's it. Like, and it's it's tier three. If, if it's not tier five, it's tier three so far. That's what I noticed. Okay. 
Okay, go for uh, the two uh, bees or whatever those are. Some bugs with a stinger. A huge stinger. So this uh, whole place, the, the drops are static for the week and they are uh, not going to change for the whole week. For you, for you only, it's different for everyone. That's why you have to, by yourself, explore uh, the raid as much as possible to find the best path to eventually... Uh, farm, kill, and get all these items and uh, complete the run by exiting from the yellow portal at the entrance which you can teleport to from anywhere on the map it costs 3 morale yeah really nothing impressive here uh, let me just go camp, curious about uh the synergy here, I know that Heroic Cheer on Destina is very strong. Turner Guard is quite good. Happy Memory. What do we have on Silk? Food Story is, is good, I believe. Let's see. Not that great. So really that elite uh, boss messed up with my plan so let's say there is something here that I want after like I'm gonna have to go through let's say the, there is a tier 5 a tier 5 epic item that, that I want I'm just gonna have to uh, start the attempt on uh, trying to kill this elite boss and push through to obtain this item. There, like, I have not cleared the whole thing yet. That's the thing. This is uh, what I've explored. I have not gone down, but at least I can... Uh, I can know for sure if it's worth going this way or not in my uh, future attempts or my, uh, uh, my final run. Not good. Not worth going for. That's a lot of morale that I've used already. I mean, uh, of course the camping wasn't so great because Destina's down and Destina, uh, that's one more uh, hero and she brings the highest morale boost, 18 and 17 in my group. <clears throat> but uh, Diane and Tarnagard are doing uh, quite well together. So I have two potions. So, I mean, it's no, it's no big deal. Uh, you can do uh, a run like this. Okay, TG's gonna go, and then I'm gonna use the Guardian for Diane's turn. I really want to kill this pack and know for sure what drops on this from this area. I don't want to be running this place a billion times, you know? You can do the same. If you lose it, you don't lose your compasses. If you do have heroes that can duo quite well together, well, they can end up doing something like this too. Uh, I lost two, but I'm still going quite strong with my other two. What are you gonna drop? Nope. That ain't good. So I know there is nothing here. I can just mark this area and move on to the other portion of this uh, zone, this place. Now Okay, this is doable. 
from what I saw, normal monsters like this can actually drop tier 5 epic items. Because there is one, I know in my specific uh, loot table for this week, I know where there is an epic tier 5 that drops from a normal monster. As well as two heroic tier 5 items uh, in the same direction. Which is very, very good. I mean, going down this path, yeah, you just go by a proce process of elimination. You know that uh, you just mark down the area, like you, you, you take them out one by one to eventually do that uh, that amazing run and uh, you can like if you know that there's an encounter that you're not very uh, strong against you could take it out you could try a, a few times until you get it uh, and I would I would keep that for mm, head toward this direction you could keep it for your final run so you start with that hard encounter first because like you might know that oh, something good drops there or you just want to take the encounter out for when you want to attempt the uh, boss so that that battle is gone and on your uh, after you successfully complete the run you're gonna be able to just come back in there and just walk by because the boss is already dead, the elite uh, boss, which is gonna make it a whole lot easier to reach uh, whichever boss you're trying to attempt. And you're gonna have a higher amount of morale, which means you might be uh, getting the 5% or 10% health boost in good or very good morale levels. Now, Diane is quite low, but I'm still able to uh, push through this. The chest is uh, not looking good. So now, if I'm able to get to the next resting area, I can just cross out this whole, uh, this small hallway. So on my next visit, I know it's a waste of time going in this direction. Let me pause here. Now, I know that this place, half, half of this corridor, this is bad. And uh, even like, all this is bad. Just doing some X's. Okay. I mean, this rare tier 5, uh, what is it, ring might actually be good. But it's a chance that that boss that I fought was like took out my Destina and was almost like one-shotting my heroes. So you're gonna have to uh, decide if, if he's worth the morale, if he's uh, worth the trouble. Maybe you're really unlucky and you're... You don't get too many good items. Maybe you did not have time to uh, run uh, the raid a few times to uh, figure out where the better things drop at. Uh, you might just go and uh, take him out and then move on to uh, some other places. You, yeah, Like I said, you kill that boss, that elite first because you know he is the uh, tougher encounter that you're going to face, so get rid of him first with uh, 5 or 10% uh, health boost from your morale and then uh, yeah, go for the other items I I'm surprised at how far I've actually been able to push Diane's dying here yeah. should be able to take this last one out but I'm at minus 23 Okay, now I know that this 
hallway is uh, not worth going through. So that's good. And uh, let me go south here. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, like, is there something cool happening here? Better retreat. Oh, it actually turned off my auto. That's a good thing. Still, I'm going to explore. Maybe there's no encounter. There is one. Ooh. Wow. So, here, I'm gonna circle this area. And... Uh, just write down the monster's name. Striker. Because I can check out this monster's abilities. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you are encountering the same type of monsters at the same locations. Because those could be the same for everyone. Or not. Not the game guy, that's not the one I want to see. But. Let's see here. If I go in there, and then in this list, because that monster will not appear here. But. Okay, these are the. These are the elite. Elite monsters. This guy is annoying. Here it is. What's the abilities? 80,000 CP. Shoots a poisonous stringer, uh, stinger at the enemy with a 30% chance to inflict two poison for two turns. Low chance. That's fine. This can be uh, dispelled from, like, from Diane or Destina. Shoots a poisonous stinger at the enemy. If the enemy is inflicted with poison, they will become stunned for one turn. Oh, two turn cooldown. And this can uh, really uh, like build up to uh, disabling your uh, supports or like, whoever really that gets hit. But the chance of landing it is, uh, is not too high here, 30% only. Still two turns and uh, if he attacks your, like my Destina, let's say in front, this could get ugly. And that that uh, encounter is fairly far, so if I'm going for the first time there, I have to clear all, all up to him. And if I get unlucky, I could be hit with the poison into the stun, which could be fatal. But yeah. All right. Well, that's it for this one. I mapped out uh, part of the raid, part of that I have not explored yet. And uh, I just uh, went uh, through my uh, thought process uh, with you, and hopefully that was uh, helpful to uh, to some of you. And uh, well, I hope you find some uh, amazing gear. And good luck to everyone. That's it for this one. I'm Astronox. So like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'll show you my gear real quick. So uh, no says in that one. My skill ups. Look at that. So good. So, so worth it. Just pause if I go too quick. But yeah, like I was able to just keep on pushing even though I had some uh, casualty and then casualties. Which allowed me to... Uh, map out a much bigger portion than I thought uh, I would be able to so it did save me time because I didn't have to go through the elite battle again and it was fairly fast with only uh, three and then two heroes alright that's it for this one thanks again for watching I'm all turn out peace